Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Carlson from the Grove Animal Hospital and Holistic Center. I'm doing custom holistic testing analysis for case number 00701, six-year-old Labrador Retriever with chronic dermatitis. Um, if we look at current test analysis, we see that most of the numbers are balanced, but we still have a few items to resolve. Number one on the weak side is the pancreas. Pancreas is responsible, has a, a hormone portion and a digestive portion. And down here on the stress side, we have liver and then allergies. And we have some comparisons because we did our previous retest in June. And so our first column shows the June analysis and the second column shows the retest. So we can see that we still have a little bit to do with the liver because we, from 56 to 61, and I'll explain why the liver is involved with dermatitis here shortly. Uh, but we see that the, uh, the palatine tonsil of lymphatics improved, which is important because the lymph system manages allergies secondarily. Uh, we can see that we had quite a few stressors which have resolved as we move over. We see those balanced out uh, down here. And then the pancreas moved over. It was balanced as of uh, June, so it was in transition during that time, so we see a little bit of drop there. Uh, none of which that we, we can't resolve. These aren't a, 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 IHT is not considered a diagnosis or prognosis as much as what we need to do to continue to correct. So, because Boomer is not quite there, uh, he has allergies. Allergies are different than sensitivities because the allergen goes into his system, so if he's not currently exposed to it, he can still react to it later on. Partly because if we have liver stress, the liver's not cleansing the blood like it's supposed to. It's allowing some of those allergens to re repartition into connective tissue or fatty tissue. Okay? And so that's a constant source of reinfection or reinflammation. The liver's also a source for removing toxins themselves. So you can have liver toxins that are a part of that sequence. The pancreas, if we're not quite 100% there, then we can allow what they call leaky gut to occur, where we can absorb contaminants into the system that normally wouldn't be there. So if that's going to the portal vein back to the liver, we see that the liver seems to be the primary source with secondary pancreatic weakness and allergies. So, what are the allergies? Well, let's take a look here. Allergies are broken down by groups, and then we go into different files. And so, we can see that the main categories are going to be supplements, sugars and sweeteners, shellfish, actual fish, cooking oils, and then some additives. And so, additives are a big thing for the liver because uh, when we look at food and additives, there can be additives in the dog food or additives in food that we, that Boomer might get uh, by accident. Or um, the other thing is that uh, the, the absorption of additives into his bloodstream can trigger inflammation. Um, the other thing is cooking oils. Now we may not give uh, cooking oils directly but there can be oil in the dog food that sometimes can trigger inflammation. Now, regardless, these can be allergies he's been exposed to or sensitivities, so it doesn't, doesn't differentiate between the two. Uh, anytime we have fish or shellfish, we want to stay away. A shellfish is usually going to be more important in uh, glucosamine type products or joint products. And then fish can be in a lot of dermatologic diets. Uh, sugars and sweeteners, uh, we want to be careful of, especially xylitol and any other type of sweeteners that could be in the food or treats or anything that might get by accident uh, from our food. And then finally, supplements. Uh, certainly supplements that we might give them from a, uh, you know, a supplemental like a vitamin or a meal or something like that, or even in the dog food that can sometimes also cause create inflammation. So the liver seems to be the main issue, secondary allergens and pancreas. So review the list, 
We'll talk about those the things that he's specifically exposed to. And then uh, we want to rebalance using a product called Drain Par uh, to rebalance the weak and stressed areas. Uh, we want to continue to control the dermatitis with uh, anti-inflammatories as needed to keep him comfortable. And then we're going to use a product called Damp Heat Skin because, or and also Liver Happy. Because Liver Happy is a primary focus is going to be on the liver to be supported there. But we may also use metronidazole to help as well because metronidazole is going to be supported for the liver. So let's review the sensitivities and allergens. And let's have a follow-up visit to see how his skin is doing because we're going to have a little bit more inflammation to deal with till this totally clears.